The August of 2011 is this dog's birthday. The same year of 2011, when the only thing to worry about was what game I was going to play during a recess, we decided to get a new dog. Searching on the web, my mom found a shelter for dogs without a home, and a litter was listed under a post. Most of the puppies were hairless, with only one or two of them having hair. When we had gotten to the house, he had actually broken out of the playpen that they were in and had grabbed the shelter woman's sock. At this time, his name was Taz. Like, the Tasmanian devil from Looney Tunes. That's because he was really fond of chasing his tail when he was hyper. Rex was my second dog, next to Bruno. He was anything I could have asked for. He was funny, he was fast, and he was loving. That was the dog I knew for 13 years. What an amazing 13 years. Bruno and him were inseparable. Well, Bruno could care less about doing an activity, but playing to Bruno was standing in the middle of the yard while Rex ran around him nibbling his legs. Of course, Rex saw Bruno as sort of a big brother. He had known him for almost his whole life. Rex slept in a kennel because he would piss everywhere if he didn't, like... We had to set up like a camera and we thought it was Bruno, but it ended up being him. Um, Bruno would sleep in my parents' bedroom up until like late at night when he would walk in my brother's room uh, where he would then spend the rest of the night. So that was like his sleeping time. It was described to me that it was described to me that Every morning, Rex would be let out of his kennel, and my mom would follow him out and get Bruno in my brother's room. But this time, Rex didn't leave to my parents' bedroom and go to my brother's. I woke up late into the morning that day, and it was my mom that woke me up. It was odd considering it was a school day, and I got told that Bruno was dead. On January 11th, 2018, Bruno passed away peacefully in his sleep. He lived the long 12 years of his life. When I learned about the gut-wrenching news, um, I broke down, and a few days later I made a, actually made a shirt in support for my dog's passing, and I even made a video about his death, and I think that's my way of, to vent about a horrible event. No one took that well, though through that moment we grew. We took time a few years, and in February or March of 2020, right before the lockdown hit, we got another dog, Lloyd. Uh, through the years Bruno had passed, uh, Rex had been slowing down and like kind of fatiguing. Um, he was very depressed and lonely. He'd gone a little crazy after his brother disappeared from his life, and I'd makes sense he'd gone a little crazy but Lloyd brought out his lost life and rekindled the peace that he was missing sadly though um, I don't believe that Rex fully recovered from Bruno's death he'd still show signs of discomfort or disassociation but that didn't change anything from how Lloyd loved him in recent months Rex had begun to slow down. He'd been pooping inside the house, not on purpose, but because of poor judgment of his body now. And every few days he'd have a good day, but most were spent sleeping. He'd begin to stop using his back legs and kind of drag them. And Easter was when we had the guts to talk about putting him down. He stopped wagging his tail in the last coming weeks. But he would still be kicking his legs and wagging his tail while dreaming. We put him down today as I'm writing the script and recording the video. April 8th, 2024.
It's a little funny because after we buried him, my brother tracked poop on his shoe inside the house. It's it's kind of like his last hurrah behind the grave. I named this video Celebrating a Life because I feel it's better to name it uh, a happier light uh, rather than a dark and sad name. Even if the contents make me tear up, I still want to look back at this fondly. Because I love this dog, and I still love him. He was one of the best things in my entire life, and whenever I was sad, he would always cheer me up. He'd always come check on me when I was hurt, and I can never replace that. So, I hope he's happy in heaven. I hope he's pooping in the pearly gates and achieving the dreams that he was seeing while he was sleeping. Thank you for everything.